there guys, Coaster Chal here, Dunkster Born Bob built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at this massive news story from Kentucky Kingdom. I wanted to break down my thoughts on this and the statements from different news sources and we finally have the news. Kentucky Kingdom has a brand new owner and that company is Hershen Family Entertainment, Hershen Enterprise. Um, owners of Wild Adventures, Silver Dollar City and Dollywood amongst many other uh, complexes and attractions of all types and sizes. Uh, so we're going to be discussing all the statements from the press release over the last 24-48 hours and share my thoughts on all this news as well and what I think we could be seeing for Kentucky Kingdom. So before we get started guys, please like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,200 subs and a million views on the way by the end of this year, fingers crossed. We want to try and get to 4,000 subs by the end of the year and a million views. So we're getting really close to both milestones now. It's getting closer by the day. So please go and subscribe. Please go and watch the old videos if you haven't already because there's lots of videos for you to watch. Also, guys, check the description down below where not only can you find links to both articles surrounding this news, but also you can find links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram and Snapchat and also the Discord server where you, yes you the Coast Shell fan base can be a part of the channel nation and interact with other Coast Shell fans and also make sure you get your video suggestions in the Google links form in the description down below. I'm taking all your video suggestions, noting them down and I'm going to be uh, getting them ready for uh, the summer because we've got a lot of pre-records to get through in the summer. And for now guys, let's go through exactly what is going on with Kentucky Kingdom and their brand new owner. Hershen Family Entertainment. So both articles are from Wave 3 News, uh, both containing different pieces of information about the takeover and what they want to do. So a new majority owner is talking, taking over Kentucky Kingdom. Hershen Family Entertainment, the company that operates uh, Dollywood and other attractions, will be in charge of operations of the park this season. We've turned the operations, the marketing, and all that over to Hershen and Craig Ross. Think about that. Craig ran Kings Island, he ran Dollywood. How can you be a better general manager for Kentucky Kingdom? And this came from former operator, or now former operator, Ed Hart. And now, of course, Ed Hart was the man who brought back this park. He's the man that brought this park back. Um, you know, getting this ready uh, in 2013, getting it ready for reopening in the following years. And he's just brought the park back to superstardom ever since 2014. But it was 2013 when he sort of wanted to bring this park back. And uh, 2014 was the year. And it's been going from strength to strength ever since with wonderful new investments like Storm Chaser, Kentucky Flyer. There was a stalling plan over the RMC Raptor. We don't know what's happening to that yet. But um, it's still on the shelves for now. Maybe they brought it back. Maybe they were waiting for this takeover to happen. But uh, overall, very exciting stuff indeed. Now, in terms of what we're expecting, the new owner is expected to bring more food options, including cinnamon bread. I haven't tried it, but it sounds very exotic. Um, as well as that, a, um, we also have more entertainment, more events that expand the park's activities into the fall, and maybe even Christmas. Yes, Christmas in Kentucky. I love it. Uh, now, the season pass program is kind of a lifeblood of our business, says Ross, the COO of the Hershen Group. Uh, growth and opportunity group uh, now but when the season gets extended longer he says that product is valuable for folks that are living further away a few hour drive coming in and using the season pass spring summer and fall even at christmas time makes really good sense now work is underway to have the rides all inspected and the food selections approved and a marketing plan is being prepared to attract visitors from outside louisville the park will open in 2021 on May the 8th, one week after the Kentucky Derby, and there'll be 1,200 season jobs that need to be filled. Now, another article from Wade 3 News in the last 24 hours has spoken about other things about the deal. So, of course, Hershen Family Entertainment was announced the new majority owner by Governor Andy Bashar on Tuesday, also owning the Newport Aquarium, Harlem Globetrotters, as well as Wild Adventures, Silver Dollar City, and Dollywood. Bashir said the group will bring an enhanced entertainment and amusement park experience to Kentucky Kingdom. Now he said, now 2013 Ed Hart signed a lease to reopen T Kentucky Kingdom after it shut down and taking over is the new GM Craig Ross who expanded on some of the ideas they have moving forward. Some of the changes might include the expanded season with more family rides, more shows and more festivals. Now in terms of the park's name, what's happening with the park's name? Well, 
He said in a statement both the Commonwealth name and the word Kingdom and Hurricane Bay as well, they're all great names. If something were to surface throughout our process and research, we would consider those things in terms of maybe changing it in the future. Uh, but f from what we hear, for now at least, until more research comes up, Kentucky Kingdom is the name that will stay. And if you're a season pass holder for the 2021 season, do not worry. Do not worry, that's the message from the ownerships. Memberships will still be intact. And all major players involved have said they're excited about it, including the fairgrounds and the state fair board. They're also a fan. So overall, massive changes. So more family rides, more festivals, more entertainment, but they are going to keep investing in thrill rides as well, which is a very exciting prospect. So I think we're going to see loads of investment to make Kingdom a kingdom more well-rounded, well-themed park. And I think we're going to see some major refurbishments to major attractions over uh, a certain period of time once COVID pandemic is over and the financial situation is improved. Uh, I do think the company will invest in major new attractions over the next few years. And I think the Kentucky Kingdom will become a more well-rounded theme park with much more theming around the place. And I think the Hirsch are going to take Kentucky Kingdom into a brand new direction. And I'm really excited about all this news. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is the takeover of Kentucky Kingdom by Hirsch and Family Entertainment. First of all, message to Ed Hart. My applause to you, my friend. My applause to you, Mr. Ed Hart, because you've taken Kentucky Kingdom, you saved the park, and you brought it in a completely new direction. You've completely re reinvented the park. You completely changed the park and evolutionized the park. And now COVID's forced them to to go in a new direction and I think the Hirsch are one of the perfect owners in America because you know they own Dollywood, they own Silver Dollar City, they own the Newport Aquarium, Harlem Globetrotters, Wild Adventures but the two main properties that I look for in terms of their success is Dollywood and Silver Dollar City and you could see by the the teaser video that they were sort of released on social media and stuff like that you could see like I guess it's Stardust I guess or some like particles whistling through the air over aerial shots of the park if you've seen the video you'll know what i'm talking about so it's got that kind of dollywood silver dollar city magic about the teaser trailer so you know it's very very easy to spot that they're going to put some major investment in this park i like the idea they're going to be putting in more festivals more shows more entertainment uh hopefully extending the park to fall and christmas like they do with the dollywood and silver dollar city parks look at how well they do events and festivals the entertainment at the park is going to go to probably levels that we never, th we never, not expected to see, but levels the park have never had before. They've had some great shows in the past. They've had some great entertainment in the past. But this is going to go to a completely new level. And in terms of family rides, I'm excited for that because, you know, family rides also means theming, according to Dollywood and Silver Dollar Cities as, as, as examples. So, um, you know, looking at the family rides there and look at Wildwood Grove, for example, at Dollywood, major, major example. Fireman's Land in the big area at Silver Dollar City for the families and for the thrill seekers as well. And they've got a history putting in thrill rides as well at the park. So we are not going to, we're not going to sort of exclude thrill rides from the development of Kentucky Kingdom with Hershend in charge. We are expected to probably see some new thrill rides as well. We're going to see some new thrill rides. We're going to see some new roller coasters, hopefully. So, um, you know, fingers crossed we're going to get all that passed. Hopefully they start investing in the Raptor. Hopefully they do invest in the Raptor. Or if they're going to change the plans, change it to a different kind of coaster. Maybe they go down the Intamin route or something. So, um, should be interesting to see if they're going to do that. I mean, if we are... I mean, we, we, we spoke about the hashtag, a new story teaser. Uh, with the ex with the question marks over the numbers, so we still haven't received a new teaser with that. We don't know sort of what the question marks were for. So maybe if they're going to keep continuing the teaser and make it look like um, it wasn't for the takeover, it was for a new coaster. Maybe this is why they're teasing that as a new coaster hashtag a new story. Maybe it's because of the takeover and now they can start keep teasing away with this new investment and this, this first investment will be the official first investment of the Hershian era of Kentucky Kingdom so it's going to be very interesting there's going to be a lot of news updates on this park I can guarantee you of that um, with all the the stuff they're planning to invest in the next hopefully in the next few years but in the long term as well they're going to be investing in all these different things for the park so beware there's going to be a lot of news updates over the next year or two uh, from this park in particular so stay tuned for all of that guys and uh, this is going to be a wonderful piece of business for, for, for Hirsch and Family Entertainment because they've got a prime park now 
ready to be invested in. They've got an RMC like Dollywood has and Silverwood, Sil Silverdale City has as well. They've got uh, this chance hyper coaster to work with. They've got piece of land to work with. It's all going to be brilliant. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And also, by the way, Hurricane Bay, Water Park. That's going to get some investment, in my opinion. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast alive. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a heart-tastic day. That one's for you, Ed Hart. That one's for you.